Hello, my dolls. So as you can see, we are in a unique setting. I am not in my music room. I am at the dining room table because we're about to do an unboxing video. And if you look, you'll see some kitties coming in and out of frame. I am so excited because we have a pedal board. Finally, I got myself some pedals for my electric cello V. So what I'm about to show you would not be possible without my dolls on Patreon. So I really wanted to take this time to thank each and every one of you for your generosity. Your support is absolutely incredible. So thank you so much. Your donations went into getting this pedal board. And if you're interested and you didn't know, Chelly and I are on Patreon. You can learn more about that in the description below. And in exchange as a thank you, you get exclusive surprises from Chelly and I like early video releases, MP3 downloads, discounted lessons, lots of cool stuff. So go check that out. So in true YouTuber fashion, we have the box. It's already opened because I didn't want to struggle with this part. Oh, little, uh, little tear over there. Don't mind that. So I ordered my pedal board off of Sweetwater and in true Sweetwater fashion, it's so funny. They send you candy <laughs> with every order. Um, for those of you who don't know and are interested in music gear, Sweetwater is fantastic. I've had nothing but fabulous experiences with them. This is not an ad, I promise. I'm just telling you all in case you were curious where I order stuff. So their customer service is awesome. Again, you get somebody specifically assigned to you and those people are usually musicians. So you can chat with them about musical things, what you're looking for. If you're unsure what to buy, you get a direct line to them. You don't have to call and go through all those menus if you have a problem. So love Sweetwater and they have so many different brands. So that's where I got this pedal board from. Nice and bubble wrapped. Oh, here she is. Or he, I don't know yet. Or neither, or both. Isn't it beautiful? And it's only the box. But this is a full picture of what we're gonna be looking at today. So take it in, take it in, in all of its glory, yas. Okay, so what I have here is the GT1B by Boss. So here in Las Vegas, I've talked with some cellists and some of the sound engineers I've worked with on gigs. There isn't, to my knowledge, a pedal board specifically for orchestral string instruments. When you see a string player using a pedal board, it's for a guitar. And one thing I learned was the sound of a cello on a guitar pedal board is a little thin, it's not as rich, and it's not as full. Now, the reason for that I really think has to do with the instrument's range. So for a traditional guitar, the lowest string is an E. Now on the cello, there's two more notes that go beyond that. Our lowest open string is a C. If my cello goes below the lowest capability of a guitar, there might be some issues with the frequencies not being as rich and vibrant. So I thought I would try a pedal board that is specifically for bass so that my lower range will absolutely be supported. So I did a lot of research, read a lot of articles, and this one kept coming up in multiple articles. So it's affordable for me and it has a lot of the things I want. So let's open it up and we'll talk about those things. Okay, ah, so excited. So it's one of these boxes where there's lips on the edge. It's like an IQ test. Never mind. <laughs> Awesome. So we'll talk a little bit about some of the features that are listed on the box, but I want to get inside. Let's get inside. Ooh. 
big, 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 thick manual that I will definitely have to read a lot. So we're gonna put that off to the side. Comes with batteries. Wow, comes with four AA batteries, which I really appreciate. That's awesome. Look, oh, it's so pretty. Ah, oh. nice little buffer, some styrofoam wedges. Okay, ooh. So you might be surprised at how tiny this is. We'll get to that too. Do not judge it by its size. Okay. Look at it. I know we had this giant box and now it's this, <laughs> this tiny little board. So the reason I wanted a small board was for ease of transportation, bringing this around to gigs. Maybe I have to bring an amp. So something small and compact. And I can also fit this in a carry on on a plane. That's very important to me. That's not to say someday I'm not going to have that big board with all of the different effects you put onto it and you kind of customize your own board, but I really wanted something that could be an easier stepping stone. So if you notice, we have a pedal, a wah-wah pedal and an effect pedal. And that is very important because whenever I have solos, it's very common practice to embellish it with a pedal effect. And there are three pedals, three buttons, I should say. They don't really look like pedals, but they're large buttons that you often hit with your foot. You can turn on a tuner to check your intonation of your open strings. But also a lot of these are shortcuts. So often in multi-effect pedals, you have a bank of effects. Usually the first one you want at the top is a great clean cello sound. And that would be at the top of my bank. Maybe the second one could be more like a heavy rock guitar sound for solos. So what I would do is I would push really quickly, like maybe one or two to move down the bank and get that effect. So, it definitely is multitasking. You have to be pretty good with your feet. Let's say you come to some rests in music and you have a solo coming up. So you have some rests, you do tappy tap, you got your effect, and then you get your solo. So other than these main buttons and the pedal, we have a display board. So I can see the name of the effect in a live show, make sure I got the right thing selected. And then there's a lot of smaller buttons and knobs. That's where the user manual is gonna come in handy, but those are kind of more so to fine tune your sounds at home. So lastly, we're gonna go through some of the extra bells and whistles. A big one is an effects library. And with this one, there are a lot. I believe there are 90 possible effects in this board alone. So I was very excited about that. This comes with Tone Central, which is a program by Boss, and that's where I can go in and tweak my sounds. And it also comes with a lot of amp simulators, which allows me to further tweak my sounds. So I might have a cool distorted guitar effect, but maybe I want that to go through a vintage amp. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, you've already released mini covers where you sound like electric guitar. Well, with those, I directly plugged V into my DAW or digital audio workstation. And after the recording, I was able to go in and add some amp simulated effects. So that is more of a post editing process that you can absolutely do. And again, with things such as the effect pedal and being able to change quickly in the moment in live time to get different sounds, that's really the unique difference. And definitely once I have this board and experiment with it longer, I'll be able to record with it into my DAW too and really get a customized sound that I really like. And the other thing from Sweetwater that I got is an AC adapter. 
so that I can plug this into a wall outlet for power. So that's another thing to consider is what kind of power source does it need? So this has two options. This came, as you saw, with AA batteries. So if I need to be absolutely portable on the road, and this is also an option for outlet power. So I think it's incredible to have both options because you are totally at the mercy of a venue. So you might be on a really fantastic stage, but there might not be any outlets nearby. So to have both options was very important. And that is the basic overview of this board I got. I am so excited. I've been waiting so long. Now the only sadness about this board is I'm not going to be able to experiment with it until July. And the reason for that is I am going to be leaving soon for a avant-garde contemporary music festival and I'm gonna be there for about a month. That is solely acoustic cello and that's gonna be very exciting. So you'll see some updates on that, absolutely. And this will be my wonderful adventure to come home to. I can just, I can feel it. I can feel it resonating from the board. It's going to be so fun to create unique sounds and to really expand my sound world. If you are interested in electric strings, cello covers and things like that, and you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. There's going to be a vlog where I have a good handle on the basics and I'll do a little demo on the stuff I've learned. Maybe I'll make it a multi-part series as I get deeper into the capabilities of this board, let me know if you would be interested in that in a multi-part electric cello exploration series. Let's say a goodbye and we'll see you later to my new bass effects board. I'm so excited. Ah, sorry, <clears throat> bass effects processor. Mm. Very classy, can't you tell by the mm? <laughs> Okay. Thank you all so much for joining me on this vlog. Special shout out to my wonderful dolls on Patreon whose donations made this purchase possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to share this with you all and expect future videos this summer with V and our new effects processor. Bye my dolls.